right, folks. Well, I'm arriving here just down the road from my customer in Granite City, Illinois. If you're not familiar where, where Granite City, Illinois is, it's just on the Illinois side of St. Louis. And they've already sent me my next load, but I can't see it because my tablet, my people net is still not working. I can't access it on my phone, my Maverick app on my phone because it won't let us uh, see it while I'm moving. <laughs> so I'll have to look at it when I get up here. We're only about a half a mile from my customer. This is the intersection of Missouri Avenue and Pontoon Road. It's a bumpy road, I'll tell you. very well might be picking up a load here too because we we get a lot of shipments out of this facility and they also have another facility about a mile back up the road that I already passed by all right so this next road here to the right is where we're going to turn. It's called Kanzen Court. It says Granite City Industrial Park. And here's a Maverick truck sitting here to the right. Looks like maybe he's gotten loaded. just sitting there oh they're doing some building expansion here so looks like uh, normally I would turn left here to go deliver but it looks like now there's a road that's going to take me yeah I can't go the normal way so They don't have a, any any new signage, so I'm just going to take a guess here. I know this product will go to door six. Wow, this is going to make loading here very different, that's for sure. Hmm. Because all the exits are blocked with construction workers. So, uh... All right, I was just checking with that, that guy there to make sure this was going to loop me around where I need to be. He said, yes. Golly, they've got everything in the front here messed up. I don't know how in the world you'd be getting a load out of here right now. Hmm. Well, normally, okay, let's see, oh. all right, they've got this one door to the far right, still where I can go in there. I'm going to park right here and get untarped and mostly unsecured before I pull all the way up there. Okay guys, I'm, I've got my bungees off this tarp. I'm going to try to position the camera where I can show you how I pull it off the load, hang it up, and roll it up.
Let me change the angle on this. those trucks were coming down here but they're not well it looks like he's coming here after all around and came through here but all I've got to do now is roll the tarp up piece of cake That's it. Now I'm gonna get this green one off, but to save footage, I'm gonna skip that one. All right, I decided to go ahead and do, show you the canvas tarp. Hold it in half. We're going to put a bungee under this end. Kind of step the air out of it. Roll it up. It's just that easy. So here's the coil again. I got four chains, three straps to get put up. Actually five chains, counting the uh, trip chain in the front. But that's it folks. Pretty easy on those little tarps. Hey, I've got two degrees and I make more money rolling up tarps. Okay guys, so we have our friendly unloader here, Kyle, about to uh, pick up the coil. I pulled up just outside the door there and got all my chains, rest of my chains off and left my free straps over the coil. And then once I pulled into here, I took them off. Just to be safe. That's a big coil, big. almost 49,000 pounds. That's how it works. So now I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'm picking up a load here. So I'll pull around to the back, check in over there. So that's that. 
Thanks, Kyle. No problem. How's it going? <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay, guys, I'm loaded and secured. Before I start tarping this load, I wanted to show it to you because it's, you know, the loads out of here are some of the most difficult you'll get as a Maverick driver. But you can see they're doing work all over this place. We loaded in that door there and then kind of came out and came through the gravel and out through here. So, uh, all right, let me show you this. So two of these coils needed two securements. They weighed like 12,000, 13,000, something like that. So I got a center chain and a figure eight in the rear one and the front one, right? Center chain, the figure eight. And then this one weighed over uh, 18,000 pounds, so I got three securements. Center, figure eight, and then one more in the back here. So that's what we got. A lot of padded edge protectors, a lot of chains, the, and you don't put uh, padded uh, coil pads on these. Um, you don't use coil pads on slitted coils. These are what we call slitted coils. See, there's three coils in that bundle. In fact, I think they all have three. That, this one has four. And this one has three. So every driver i've seen come through here has got a different type of load <laughs> all right so what i'm going to do now is throw a canvas tarp over there i think one will cover it might take two and then i'll be able to cover it with one steel tarp good friday morning everybody big boy trucker back at you well i'm on 44 west about 35 miles northeast of Tulsa. Just stopped uh, about 10 miles back at the Loves and fueled up. Did another load check. I uh, camped out there on 44 westbound last night at the Route 44 rest area. Which, uh, Again, it's one of the better rest areas you're going to find. Got my clock back about uh, 4.30 this morning. Hit the road pretty early. Wait a minute. No, it was more like 3.30. Yeah. So, I've got uh, 3 hours and 15 minutes says the GPS to get to my customer in Chickasha, Oklahoma. It's a place I've delivered to two or three times before called Taylor and Sons Pipe and Supply. So that's what's going on. And uh, let's see. I wanted to mention, I got an email last night from some folks down in Texas. I think it was. Uh, an elderly man who's 85 years old named Joe down in Henderson, Texas and uh, his daughter Holly sent me a nice email evidently Joe used to drive back in the day at some point and has been watching my videos I guess kind of helping him reminisce about life on the road <laughs> and um, he likes the color of the Maverick trucks but they were asking me some questions so nice nice to hear from them thanks for watching the videos 
and uh, also I had several emails. I had one from uh, Jeff over in over in Oklahoma that um, he had passed some of his CDL testing and has a start date of uh, July 3rd at Maverick. He'll be coming there with his CDL. I actually have two guys, uh, Jeff and uh, a fellow there from the North Little Rock area. Also going to be starting Charles uh, starting on July 3rd. So congratulations to both of those fellas. And then I had a uh, Guy, a guy named David who lives down in Florida, a little bit south of Tampa, who was uh, trying to get started with Maverick and had talked to a recruiter a couple times, I think, but it turns out he lives like 18 miles out of the Maverick hiring area. I think he was looking at the glass division over there. It may be all they offer from where he lives, but supposedly, yeah, he lives like 18 miles out of the hiring range. So he's uh, got some obstacles there to try to work through or may have to just look at other companies. You know, uh, as far as I know, you know, Maverick is not, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know that it's just Maverick, but uh, I know I, I don't go into Florida much. I've only been into Florida, I can think of maybe twice, the whole three years I've been driving for Maverick. And from what I hear talking to other drivers, you know, Florida is just kind of a weird freight lane, you know. It's, freight going into Florida, but there's hardly any freight coming out of Florida. So if you do go into Florida, you usually have to come far out to get reloaded. So it's kind of kind of problematic. So anyway, I hope David can work something out. I'm sure he can. I mean, there's lots of opportunities out there, but he's kind of more limited than most just because of where he lives. So uh, anyway, um, gonna be hot again today. I think they're saying it's supposed to be like 94 degrees. And then tomorrow sounds like it's supposed to really be hot. Getting up to 100 in a lot of places. And then cooling back down a little bit on Sunday. Of course, by the time you guys see this video, that, those days will have already passed. <laughs> okay, enough talking for now. Let's see if we can get through Tulsa here in a few minutes without getting bogged down in rush hour traffic. 